its monster. The Chancellor was keen to emphasise today that there's something of a cross-party consensus on the EU, but some parts of his own party are becoming very cross indeed. Some Conservative MPs here at Westminster are muttering about whether they'd ever be able to unite after the referendum, no matter what the result. Although there are, of course, hardly no shortage of alternative potential leaders. And where better than a garment factory to argue that the EU is a stitch-up between big business and big banks? Boris Johnson and others who favour Brexit say small companies like this one would be better off out, and so would the workforce. I've seen a parade of big businesses coming out from Downing Street signing letters saying that uh, they agree with every jot and tittle of EU regulation. Well, of course they agree with an open border immigration policy because they think they can just get a steady supply of unskilled or skilled labour from abroad. And what is the result? They're able to hold down wages. That said, 300 business leaders did sign a letter backing Brexit today. And when it comes to countering the Chancellor's comments about conspiracy theories, Boris Johnson gave as good as he got. I say their pants are on fire, folks. I say their pants are on fire. If they want a new pair, this is the place to come. But this is the, this is the place to come. And uh, anyway... Knickers to the pessimists, how about that? <laughs> Serious arguments are being made about the EU, but there's also a lot of insults flying around. And some voters certainly worry that the politicians are lowering the standard of the debate. Ian Watson, BBC News. Well, as we saw there, Boris Johnson's continuing his campaign tour. He's been to Nottingham and our chief political correspondent, Vicky Young, is there. So we've had the knickers bit of the speech. Vicky, what comes now, dare I ask? It was too good for him to resist, wasn't it, really? This week is all about uh, business for the Vote Leave campaign. Uh, they know that they have uh, a raid against them. This huge number of large institutions, of big companies, all saying that the UK is better off in the EU. And they're trying to counteract that uh, by going to smaller businesses. So you saw him there at that garment factory. Uh, he then moved on to a uh, building, merchants uh, as well, trying to make the case by saying that, look, the big companies love the EU because they're all part of the elite. And the big FTSE 100 fat cats, as Boris Johnson calls them, he says they have access to all the big wigs in Brussels. They are able to speak to them about the rules and regulations. But he says the little guys, the smaller companies, all they get is the downside. They just get the, the regulations and the bureaucracy, even though a lot of these companies don't even export to the EU. And one of the owners of that uh, company he was at today said that he had spoken to his customers in Europe and they said that we buy your goods because they're well made and it's nothing to do with the EU and they insist that they would continue uh, to buy from them. But it's a difficult argument for them to make and the other side say if you look at all the business surveys of big companies, small companies, Overwhelmingly, most of them are in favour of staying in. So they know that they've got a lot uh, to go up against, but Boris Johnson does feel the momentum is with the Leave campaign, and that's why he's taking this message around the country. Vicky, thanks very much indeed. Vicky Young there in Nottingham for us.